There we go. Thank you. Oculus Touch. you to die Hey guys, if you, if you didn't... Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. Thank We're you. going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute j Sometimes our agents need to lean in both directions. Now that we're finished with calisthenics, you found the trigger button. Fully extending that same index finger is what we call pointing. Very useful for pressing buttons. Turn your head to the left. Try. It seems you have a grip on those controls. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up using the grip or trigger button. Anyways, hello everybody, this is TT95, and if you didn't hear from the, uh, uh, title if screen... you don't pick up my note, you'll never read my... Good. Now, this is... I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors, but what the hell. Pick up the lighter on your left, and use your left hand to press the Y button, or right hand to press the B button to light it. Use Y or B to burn the note. This is... I expect you to die. Um... This says, Welcome, Agent. Things are not always Pressing as they the seem. Or B button will light the Excellent. Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Push forward on the thumbstick. It's below your thumb. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If it turns blue, you can pick up the object by using the grip button. Pick up the object we just sent you through the door.
Now that you have the target, pull the thumbstick toward you or down to move the target. The desk looks like a good place for a target. Move it there. You're a natural. While still holding the target with the grip button, let go of the thumbstick and use your thumb to press the A button. That's the button closer to you. The target will hover in the air. Try Well done. I wish we could afford real plants, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, everything else. Now, try to hover another target over the chair in front of you. But I don't have... Oh. Excellent work. Let's try one more if you're feeling frisky. Hover the third target over the round table to your right. Well placed. I don't know how There's that will happen. one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two. Great shot. Now, try to shoot another target. You're being graded. Oh, for fuck's sake. While holding the gun, press the B or Y button to fire. If nothing else, agents need to be able to shoot three immobile targets. Ah! Why does this work sometimes? What if I already shot them? While holding the gun, press the B or Y button to fire. If nothing else, agents need to be able to shoot three immobile targets. Holding the gun, press the B or Y button to fire. If nothing else, agents need to be able to shoot three immobile targets. You've passed the test. Now, opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the... Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide reel from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. To unlock the training slides, grab your first mission from the door. Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly pew, Skies. Pew, pew, pew. I hope you like cars and airplanes. And Why? cars in airplanes. Why? Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. Yeah. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. Almost positive? Press the start button to begin your mission. Okay. Okay. So there's... You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Ok, 
Okay, 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 okay. Oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives no! myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Fuck me! You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. <laughs> As they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Yes, 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 yes. But first... Where did my bomb go? That did not work. Wait. A bit unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. Deploying Scorpion. Next message. Sure, there is an urgent matter to discuss. Contact me on a secure line immediately. Woohoo! Parachutes deployed. Baby! Two minutes and fifty-one seconds! A successful mission. Now, about that vacation. I'm afraid I lied about that. But you asshole. I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? No. Okay, guys. On to the next. I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished oh. dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces Lady Shampoo. Mm. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general. And this is Chichi95, signing off. Bye bye.